good morning children <coughs> so let's continue with this <coughs> with the chapter goal okay so in this portion we are going to study about olympics have you heard about olympics what are the games played in olympics okay it needs some explanation right in the events like olympics there are two types of competitions one is called games and the other one is called athletics now what are the differences between them do you know okay let's see football it's a game it's a structured form of a play right there will be two teams and in each team there will be certain players so it's a structured form of a play volleyball it's another structured form of play tennis cricket have you seen such intentional cricket playing cricket it's also a structured form of play so such game play which is games which is a structured form of play are called a game so a game is the structured form of play it is undertaken for enjoyment also like football volleyball golf tennis badminton cricket basketball etc now what about athletics it is a collection of sporting events and it involves what all thing running jumping like throw of a uh, high jump um long jump and throwing like short put javelin throw etc so that this the running uh, uh so the athletics is a collection of sports events like it involves running jumping and throwing the most common athletics are track and field and cross country race events okay then who is an athlete a person who is participating in sport is called an athlete who those person whoever is participating in the sports you are called athlete so have you ever seen olympic games can you tell give me a uh, uh, name of some personalities connected with olympics okay then so uh, have you seen a uh, uh, Sachin Tendulkar playing cricket what do you think think about it are you interested in playing cricket there are some uh there are some games uh, and there are some games which require which huge amount of money for their practice because uh, most of the events they require uh, huge amount am a sums for buying equipments also so among so one such uh, game which require huge money is cricket then uh, what about computer games do this that require huge money yes that's also another one which require huge money to buy equipments that is computer games but do you know that there are certain good and bad effects for computer game but uh, even though we can say that there are good 
have effect also but bad effect is more what is it it addicts you computer games addict you you may lose your social contacts and become an isolated person not only that you may have no exercise it will cause obesity by sitting in front of the computer itself you will be getting addicted and you will cause it will cause obesity so do you play gr- computer games children okay so let's uh, come into the olympics okay you just ask your grand grandma that uh, whether she was allowed to play in public places in her times or not most of the, your grandma's answer will be no because uh, at that time women had so many restrictions they didn't have freedom to play even in olympics women were not participating in the beginning they were not allowed to participate from the beginning later in 1900 they were allowed to participate in the competition who is there in the picture given on the screen she is the first olympic game to feature uh, she is the first women to win the an olympic gold medal on may 22 1900 her name is helene de portel she is she belongs to switzerland and she competed in the olympic games who is she she her name is charlotte cooper she became the first female individual champion by winning the women's singles tennis competition in 1900 okay so earlier as i said you earlier that women were not allowed to play in the public places that that is what uh call gender discrimination the gender discrimination was since then the gender discrimination was there but nowadays uh, men and women are treated equally considered equally so children how is a game helpful to your body why we play games or why this country and all conduct olympics okay let's do an activity hmm? uh, uh, take two balloons and uh, blow air into it uh, you start blowing air give one balloon to your friend also to your brother or your sister and uh, bo- uh, start to blow air together the one which is big balloon shows that the capacity of the that person to exhale air is more compared to the one who is having smaller balloon the capacity of each of you to exhale air is different after deep inhalation and we call it as vital capacity okay so in games also we have to do exercises when we use our body organs the muscles develop well it increases the capacity to work we say it stamina what is the purpose of breathing exercise then when we strongly inhale and exhale the capacity of muscles and lungs increases okay so it's clear from this activity right the one who is having good stamina can blow the balloon much bigger okay the instrument which is used to measure the vital capacity is called spirometer can you see the figure of spirometer okay 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट बिफोर दिस हैव यू गोइंग टू दैट वन हैव यू सीन स्टेटस्कोप why what is uh, being used to uh, by the, uh, what the, why what is the use of stethoscope it is used to know the heart beat okay and it is used by the doctors to know the heart beat of the person okay then comes Nehru Trophy. Have you heard of Vallam Kali? It is the most famous, popular boat race in Kerala. Nehru Trophy boat race is held in where Punnamada Lake near Alappuzha. Snake boat are used for this race, and there are separate races for men and women. So there is no gender discrimination. Nehru Trophy ra- boat race started in 1952. Race cover a distance of 1.4 km held in second Saturday of August of every year. Okay. Now let's go back to the time that is in the history. Uh, of let's see the history of olympics milestones in the history of olympics okay what can you see it is the first olympics uh, field olympic fe- uh, game field where olympics started it started in olympia that is in greece in the 393 ad okay then In nineteen eighteen ninety four, a French man named Boron Pirate Cabertin pa- presented the idea of Olympics. And he is the man who ha- who is believed to bring back the Olympics. <coughs> Then in eighteen ninety six. Modern Olympics were held in Athens that is in Greece. In 1900 Olympics was uh, conducted in Paris in which women delegates participated. In 1908 Olympic flag was printed with five rings using five primary colors and these five rings represented the five different inhabitants subcontinents okay and which are the continents subcontinents name you have to find it out and tell to me okay then in 1920 olympic oath was introduced in 1928 olympic was conducted in Ams- in the amsterdam olympic flame was introduced at that time and in 1936 olympic game in berlin uh, 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 was uh, conduct- uh, conducted in berlin and in that what happened modern olympic torch was introduced now have you can who is the person who is in the screen on your screen what is the name of that person she is anju bobby george okay what is she famous for she won the bronze medal in the for the long jump in the olympics okay who is she pt usha she is also an olympic olympian she won many medals hmm?
Next one is Meenakshi Amma. She is also known as Kerala Grandma. She is practice. She is the India's oldest woman. Kalari Paite exponent. Hmm? She has been she has been practicing and teaching Kalari Paite for more than sixty eight years. She teaches students at her school, Kadathanadan Kalari Sangam in Vadagara village, Kerala. She is lovely addressed as Minakshi Gurukul. So children in this world, new world, when technology and science advanced, games also had tremendous changes. Instead of local games, games popular in faraway places became popular in our places also. In the place of locally available materials, sports and games materials is made up by multinational establishments arrived. Production of sports goods became one of the profitable business. Okay children, so that's it for today's class and we have completed the, we have reached the end of the chapter. Thank you.